For those of us with nitrates that run completely rampant without doing gigantic water changes far too often, or maybe those of us out there who just want to do less water changes because why would you want to do water changes? There's a piece of equipment out there you might not know about and I'm about to introduce it to you. The Seapore nitrate reactor might look complex, but it is in fact a relatively simple beast. Think of it as a media reactor with a few nifty upgrades, specifically designed to run extremely low flow through the media in order to create an oxygen-deprived environment so that anaerobic bacteria can flourish. Anaerobic bacteria love to convert nitrate into nitrogen gas, which is inert and just leaves the system. The only hurdle is that they don't very much like oxygen and prefer some concentrations of CO2, hence anaerobic, instead of aerobic. It isn't very easy to provide that sort of environment considering that it's the exact opposite of what your aquarium fish need to thrive. The Seapore nitrate reactor can be used both internally or externally to purposefully create an anoxic zone perfect for cultivating beneficial bacteria responsible for destroying nitrates without the use of sulfur media. For use externally, you'll need a low output feed pump to push water into the reactor. Something like a dosing pump or possibly a Tom Aqua lifter can work well to help feed the reactor. For internal use in your sump, you simply need to place the unit in 10 inches of water or more and the recirculation pump will draw water on its own. You can also swap out the bio balls for your preferred bio media, such as, I don't know, Seachem Nitrate. Once you have the nitrate reactor running, allow three to four weeks for the bacteria to colonize on their own and then test the effluent water for the presence of nitrite and nitrate. If nitrite is zero and nitrate is lower than that of the levels present in the aquarium, then the reactor is doing its job and reducing nitrate. If the nitrate is the same as the aquarium, you can reduce the water flow through the reactor and test again in a week. After some adjusting, you should have an excellent source of nitrate reduction. For those of you who want to take it to the next level, however, you can use an ORP probe to monitor the dissolved oxygen and fine-tune the environment for the bacteria in that way. You'd be aiming for negative 50 to negative 250 millivolts. If the effluent is higher than negative 50, you want to reduce the water flow. If it's lower than negative 300, you'd want to increase the water flow. From there, you can test the effluent for nitrates and adjust accordingly to get the exact reduction you're looking for. It is important to consider that photosynthetic organisms like corals and plants do need some nitrates in the water in order to thrive. Aiming for zero isn't necessarily the goal. Most of us are just aiming to keep nitrates under 20 parts per million. Sepora does also provide a secondary plate in case you'd like to convert your nitrate reactor into a sulfur denitrator. So if you ever want to try that method, your nitrate reactor is, in fact, capable. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, drop those down in the comment section below or reach out to us on social media like Facebook or Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe because how are you going to know that more videos have come out, which are, go it's coming. They're all coming. And you don't want to miss them, right? Because how else would you keep on tanking with information about things like nitrate reactors, which this one might disappear and go on my 265. Oh my God, I'm going to go do it. for me. And I'm going to introduce it to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feel free to drop those down in the comments. Subscribe, 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 subscribe,